Hello everyone and welcome back. In this one we're returning to that site in which I found that strange object that resembles a boat or a submarine. It's a very strange anomaly folks. There's a lot more in this photograph that I'll be showing you in this presentation. So we're in Procter in a region called Noarcus Terra. The photograph is called Field of Transverse Aholian Ridges in Proctor Crater. This one was acquired on the 19th of October 2011 at a resolution of 50.5 centimeters per pixel and I'm showing you images are cropped from this JP2 black and white map projected file. And here's a look at the low res black and white and the anomalies I'll be showing you are some of these larger white objects that are in this area. So we're looking at the eastern edge of this depression called Proctor at this site over here that NASA photographed a couple of times. This is a really popular area. NASA has taken so many scans of sites in this dune field. And if you've been following my channel for a while you'll see there are very very weird things found at this weird dune field. So there's the one that I featured in my last video. This weird thing that looks like some type of boat, submarine, maybe it's a weird structure, who knows. Check out the spherical object sticking out of the hole there and the strange sort of grid yeah at the back and in this piece jutting out of that rounded part this is a really odd piece so there's some of the others these are all in Procter near that strange dune field and they all look like a lot of capsized boats. It's very strange. Right, so let's zoom in on the first object down there folks and you can use the scale indicator to give an idea of the size of these objects. So we've got 40 there, 20, 10. So this object is about 5 to 6 meters in diameter and it's got this perfect circular shape to it sort of dome shaped with the smaller rounded part right there in its center and there's another one right there folks same size and very close to the one we just looked at this one looks like it's a little bit flatter but also the smaller object in the center and there the two are for comparison very similar to one another I'm sure you'll agree and then we're looking at larger ones these are about 10 meters across and also the circular shape of the base smaller part right there in the center and that's the same over here with this one check and there they are for comparison same size virtually the same size and the oddities in the centers Right, then we get to what I speculate might be monoliths or some sort of obelisk type anomalies. Check this one out. It's about 5 meters tall and that is based on the shadow length and the elevation of the sun above the horizon which is approximately 25 degrees. So can you imagine standing next to this thing? 
huge sticking up out of the surface. Then we got that one, also about five meters tall. Cost very sharp point in the shadow there. There's one that's similar, also about five meters tall. This one's about three meters tall. Like the sharp points. Very, very unusual. This one's about four meters tall. This one's five meters tall. And there they are for comparison. Strange blocks or slabs, very pointed objects. I'd love to see these things close up. Right, then we get to a larger ones. These are wider. Check this one out. It's about 12 meters wide. And approximately 4 meters tall. It's got this strange disc shape to it. Check that. Very odd piece, indeed. Doesn't make sense though, if you look at this square part on the side. It doesn't correspond to the shadow that's being cast in my opinion. Something strange is going on here. Or well, it's an illusion, I'm not quite sure what to make of that one. Right, then we look at this one, it's about five meters tall. It's also got a, a rounded shape to it. Very thin object. Right, let's take a look at that one, it's about three meters tall. Block, it's slightly rounded. Check there. Isn't it an interesting place? Right, then we get to blocks. This one's about six to eight meters across. These straight edges to it. Covered in some sand, yeah, by the looks of it. It's got a strange slot there on the one side, right there in the center of that one side. Let's take a look at this one. About the same size. This one seems to have like a bevel on the one side. And then this odd piece sticking out the center of the one edge. Right. Another block, check out the symmetry and geometry to this one. Very uniform in width and thickness, nice right angles. Again, this one also has a slot in the center of the one side. Very smooth, flat surface, nice 90 degree angles to it as well. And there they are for comparison. 
Isn't it strange how we have the little round dome shaped object and in the same photograph in the same area within walking distance you've got the blocks. What type of geology or erosion produces shapes like that? The, the squares, the rectangles and then the round dime-shaped objects. Looks like everything on Mars was scattered about through multiple devastating catastrophes in the distant past. There we've got two blocks still next to one another. Very weird. Right, let's have a look at these. This one's about six meters long. And it's got either a rectangular part on the top casting this weird shadow, or it could be an opening. Then we've got another one. This one's got a hole right there in its center. And all these things remind me of those ancient ruins that we find down in South America. Check this one out, very similar. It's got a small hole in the center on this one side. And they're the same. To get this, either a narrow rectangular part on top casting that shadow or it looks like it's been hollowed out. Also very unusual, it's got this square hole in it, right there in its center. Right, have a look at this one. These strange features and holes on this one. It's also got a strange pattern there on the object to the left. And yeah, I've put them next to one another for comparison. Right, let's have a look at the block over there. About 8 by 8 meters in size. And it's got a small little pyramidal or triangular feature on the top, right there in the center. Here's another one of these weird plectrum shaped objects on that block. We've seen this shape at sites all over in the southern mid latitudes of Mars. The symmetry and geometry to that piece. Right, let's have a look at this disc shaped object about six meters across with a weird pattern on it. This seems to be inside, sort of like a cylinder. And this is weird. That's about 40, 20, so that there's about 12 meters across. These strange holes in it. A square pattern. It's almost like a grid on top of this oval piece. Something rather strange is going on there. And this too. The shape of this part. 90 degree angles in it. 
small feature there in the center of this piece and then this part seems to be have like an arc to it it's like a rounded shape and this one check out the 90 degree angle seems to have a nice rectangular opening in it parallel with this one side right look at this weird shape again sort of like a, a grid some type of symbol perhaps and in this too we've seen quite often where we have this sort of like a cover it looks like a cover covering this larger piece the sleeve And then the boat like anomaly. Let's take a look at that site in Proctor. There's a beer dune field, and the photographs I've analyzed in the past are those two there. Here's a brief look at the anomalies featured. These pieces sticking up out of the ground, very tall, well, like monoliths or obelisks. These strange megalithic blocks, some with holes, others with protrusions on them. And the dome like objects, disc shapes, Mars is a remarkable place. It's got some fantastic anomalies. And this is from a previous video. Check out the strange S or infinity sign there. So sort of like a cover or cuff on that one. The two blocks very similar in size and shape that concludes this one folks thank you for watching take care I'll see you in the next one soon bye for now